Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Sip Your Tea with Miss V. So if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. I definitely need it. I only have 46, subscri 46 subscribers. So, and after hearing about the YouTube Partner Program, they're not letting smaller channels like mine and other people's they won't let you monetize or place ads on your YouTube unless if you have a thousand subscribers. So go ahead and click the subscribe button and support me in all my endeavors. So um, I decided to do a video today. I know it's like later than I usually do videos, but I kind of wanted to talk about just like the news from the week and I'm gonna start doing like videos on Friday nights because it's before my podcast on Saturdays at four. And also with that, you can listen to my podcast at four on Saturdays. It's um, an app called Oso Radio, it's free. You can download it from the iTunes App Store and Google Play to listen to it also. And then um, I'll also put in the call-in number below and like in that box where it, the description box where if you do decide to listen to my show you can call in and talk about like say your voice your opinion about any topics we talk about tomorrow so with that being said i kind of wanted to touch base on what the hell was kim kardashian thinking when she named her child chicago west like i like the nickname chai west like that's super cute but like chicago like I don't understand why I would even name my dog Chicago I just think that's really weird and I even thought it was weird when she named North um North like her oldest Northwest like I thought that was weird and even their explanation of naming their child Northwest was like oh it's the highest peak that we met and it's like what does that even mean and honestly St. West wasn't too bad just because I remember that movie you got served it was like Little Saint so I can see that but like Chicago Girl, bye. That's insane. That sounds like I saw all these jokes on Twitter, and the funniest one was like, with this somebody was like, that sounds like a medical drama on like ABC. Like for real though. Like come on now. So I know she, like Kanye's from Chicago, but like why couldn't you just like why can't you just take off the Chicago and just be like Chai or something? Like I think Chai is better than Chicago, honestly. But still, that's insane to me. I feel like the only Kardashian that named their kids like somewhat normal names is Courtney because Courtney has her three kids Mason, Penelope, and Rain. Those were normal names. I'm actually scared what Chloe will name her children because I know on Ellen she definitely talked about it with Ellen and said if she has a boy she'll name him Tristan Thompson, Thompson Jr. And then but then also doesn't Tristan Thompson have a baby mama and I what did she name him because I know she had a boy. I think she named him Prince. I'm going to definitely fact check that and check that out because if she, I really think she named her, like, his first baby mama, Jordan. She was super cute. Love all her clothes on Instagram. Not hating. I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty sure didn't she name her kid Tristan Thompson as well? That's something I will definitely have to look up. But anyway, so I'm kind of nervous of what Chloe, maybe Chloe has some sense and is and actually going to name her child, like, a traditional name like a name where you can actually like buy like a keychain or like a magnet because obviously Kim did not go that route and she chose very unique non-common names and maybe she did that for a reason to let everyone know like if you do meet her kids like oh like if I'm like out like or I don't know I think she just did that for a reason like because she's Kim Kardashian obviously and also Kanye West is kind of out there anyways so I thought that was crazy but and obviously like why would she do that to her like her sweet baby girl because now she came in like apply like applying to jobs or just anything related to like filling out applications people are just gonna be like Chicago really like I don't know I just think that's so weird to me like Chai is actually cute but like the entire name Chicago is like insane to me so yeah so I, that was the news today as well I'm trying to think of other things I saw today um let me see from my blog um well I don't want to get into that one the whole thing about Tracy Ellis Ross how like the the gender pay gap and she wants to be like pay the same as her co-star Anthony Anderson we're definitely going to talk about that on my show tomorrow but like honestly like when I was like you know writing out the blog piece and I was like 
okay, like, I understand where she's coming from just because, like, okay, yeah, like, that's deserving. You guys both are, like, the leading roles of Blackish. But on the other hand, Anthony Anderson, he was the one who created Blackish in the first place, pitched the idea to ABC. He's also the executive producer and the lead role. So I, I feel like that's, those are the reasons why they are saying that he's, he gets paid more than Tracy. But on the other hand, it's like, I totally get where she's coming from because she, she, as, like, a woman, feels like my skills are just as deserving as anyone else. So, like, I don't know. And also, just because I'm trying to, like, you know, get a career in, like, the entertainment realm and, like, the pop culture industry, and I just feel like I really hope I don't have to run into that problem because, I mean, I will take any paycheck wherever because right now I don't make any money. Like, I don't have a job. But when I do start making a job, I would, I would still want the respect and, like, you know being able to feel like I can always like move up within the company and like you know take on like better like responsibility and roles and stuff like that but it was definitely interesting to learn that but I just feel like now in Hollywood a lot of people just like aren't aren't silenced like are not quiet anymore they're just definitely voicing their opinions which I think is super awesome because now it's like getting to that point of like it's just getting to that point in like where we are and like as like I guess as a society where you can voice those opinions which I think are cool but yeah I just wanted to do a video because I feel like I've been like not doing videos recently and I feel like I should start doing them and especially and like I have such like I feel like I should just need to start making videos every day because I have you know all the tools and I have a nice camera so definitely but I'm so happy I did this one tonight. Um, so yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. It's super awesome. Um, obviously, I'm super fun, laid back type of gal. Is just drinking some wine. So next time, maybe I could talk about my favorite wines to drink. Other than that, definitely subs um, subscribe to my channel, like I said. And also, please listen to my podcast show tomorrow. starts at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And it's a super awesome show. My parents definitely come on and talk about what they think about pop culture and their opinions and views. It's super funny. My mom's always out of pocket. So definitely should listen. So thanks for stopping by my channel. And thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys possibly within the couple next couple days. Bye, everyone.